Uh, if you've been on the hunt for a new skill, maybe a hobby, then uh, with a little hands on experience, we've found a spot just for you. Dina Kupfer is here now with more on how you can venture into the world of metal sculpture Ooh. and fine jewelry. Hey, Dina. Okay, when I booked this segment, I did not know that I was among the presence of one of the great goldsmiths of our time. We are here this morning with Michael Kaczynski, and we are at the Metal Arts Academy. It's a trade school for jewelry and the metal arts here in downtown Auburn. You're looking at just some of the pieces that have been created as a part of the program that is offered here. Also, there's an apprenticeship program we're going to get into, but first I have to introduce you to the man of the hour, Michael Kaczynski. So I'm going to have Steve, my photographer, come over, because he's actually in the process of putting together what for us today? Um, it's just a a real simple silver band that I'll have new texture okay. later. He says simple. It's not simple. But let's talk about what you do because in the world of technology and computers, you're really going back to the basics. It's so important. Um, yeah, so we teach a traditional method of making jewelry, learning the basic skills, using basic tools, saws, files, using a torch um, to give people the skills to create what they want to create um, without having to have high technology. To do it. Yes, and, and you learned yeah. uh, years ago. Yeah, yeah. I was lucky enough to have an, to go through an apprenticeship with a factory in San Francisco years ago, uh, 40 years ago, wow. um, and that experience has led to what how I teach here. Okay, so we're we're making a band, a ring here. So go, talk me through the process. What you've already done and what's coming. What's next? Oh, so it starts out as just a flat sheet of silver, and then cutting it to lengths. Um, filing the edges so that they, they're perfectly flat and they come together perfect. And so now here, I'll solder it together, round it out, um, clean it up, and then it'll be ready to do whatever we want to do with it. Okay, so I'm going to have you continue working here. Um, and, and Steve, stay with Michael here because the process is just so cool. We also have Rebecca here to talk more about the apprenticeship program because this is really a skill that you can't learn everywhere. It's not readily available for so many, but there's a 12-week program here that is so special to our area. So talk about the process of being able to apply and, and who can come and be a part of it. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, so the 12-week pro program um, runs Tuesday through Friday, and it's 9 to 5 um, for 12 weeks. We do it once in the spring and once in the fall, and you can apply on our website. There's also some scholarships available. We've been funded by the Arts Council of Placer County several times, and we're very grateful, so we're able to offer scholarships to students. Okay. It is just so wonderful, the skills that you learn to be able to your own jewelry and continue to make beautiful pieces. Also, all of the desks you see here, Michael created by hand, and these are similar to what he would have used in his apprenticeship. So he's really taking you back to the way that he learned and to the basics. Okay, so where are we at now, Michael? Oh, we're just soldering it closed, and now we are annealing it so that it softens the metal. Okay. Um, and from here, we'll throw it in a small pickle pot, which is a vat of acid, so cool. sulfuric acid, um, to clean it. And then we'll round it up, and then it'll be a ring. And then it'll be a ring, just like mm -hmm. that. Yes. That's a simple ring. A simple ring. A simple <laughs> ring. Yeah, the basic skills. Also, can we show real quickly, Steve, the tools? The tools that Michael has made. He actually made these hammers. This one here, he said he made 40 years ago because every single goldsmith needs to have their own tools. And so he will teach you on the first day of the apprenticeship how to make the tools so that you know how to continue to create because it is not something that you can learn overnight. But he wants you to know how to continue with the skill set. He said it's really important to teach the skills. That's what they're doing here. So again, this is the Metal Arts Academy here in Auburn. We're going to have all the information linked up to our website, Good Day Sacramento. And then I think I'm also going to learn how to texture the ring coming up in a little while so I'm really excited so if cool. you're interested certainly reach out again that apprenticeship program is coming up this spring guys back over to you